Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor working with his hands the thing which is good that he may have to give to him that need it. That he may have abundance to give to others that do not have abundance at particular seasons of life. That a man is called to labor and again providing in the providence of God and the leading of the Lord and the mercy of the Lord and all of that, there's not to be a limitation upon income in a way that is really is because of laziness and idleness or indolence or whatever. If there is the opportunity in balance of all things to earn more, we should that we may have to give to him that needeth. So instead of stealing from people, you're laboring to provide for yourself and for your family and surplus to give. This is, this is biblical economics 101. Simple truths that in our increasingly socialistic mindset, we think, well, what's the point? It's all going to Uncle Sam. It's going to be put into it's like Proverbs 1. Let us all have one purse. Let's all pull it in together. I was saying to the college and career this morning, it's like Bernie Sanders kind of statement there. Like, let us all have one purse. Let's pull it all in together. It's unbiblical. 